What is up everyone? My name is Jonathan and thank you for joining me for another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Hopefully you learned something. Everything about me is in the description below. Make sure to give me a follow on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, or whatever if that's all of your stuff. As always, make sure to smash the like button before you leave. Hit the subscribe button if you want more content like this. Let's get started. Once you are in Adobe Illustrator, I just have an 18 or a 1920 by 1080 document open. I'm gonna make this full screen because it's not, that's weird. If you are already in a project, you can just hit Control N to bring up this new document panel right here and pick a preset, your recent items, whatever you choose to work on. This is where we're going today. You can hit Control O on your num on your. I actually created a new one. That's funny. We'll just delete the old one because we're already here. Hit Control Zero on your number pad or whatever. What is the number bar above the letters called? Somebody tell me. What is the numbers above the letters called? Because the ten key on the right is called a ten key. What are the numbers above the letters called? Anyways, today we are creating the letter U. And we are going to start by using a rounded rectangle. I'm not 100% sure how all of this is going to look or turn out. I just have an idea, so we're just going to run with it. So we're going to create a rounded rectangle. We are going to hit con click on it, hit uh, Alt and Shift and drag this over until it's about there. Have about this much space between these two rounded rectangles. We're going to hit L on our keyboard and that brings up the ellipse tool. It is also over here underneath the rectangle. And I just hit L because it's usually faster than going over there. Click down here in this corner while holding shift, drag this up until it locks on to the other side. Now hit V on your keyboard for the selection tool. Holding shift, bring this down until about about there you want the straight edge of the circle to line up with the straight edge down here so about right let's see right there i think that's going to be good Zoom back out a little bit. So while holding Alt on your keyboard and using the scroll wheel on your mouse, you can zoom in and out and use the spacebar to grab and move around on the artboard. We're gonna drag this up a little bit. We're gonna make this a little bit smaller. Now we're going to grab this circle here in the middle, hit Control C, Control F. Again, click the little circle, click this circle, Control C, Control F, that creates a copy in the front. So now while holding shift and alt again, we're gonna drag this down until it intersects with both sides here and here. Zoom back out a little bit. So now we're going to grab our shape builder tool. We're going to select all of these objects first, hit shift M on your keyboard, or just click on your shape builder tool over here. And now while holding alt, click and drag, oops. So we are accidentally clicked into the layer. So select all of your objects, Shift M. Now while holding Alt, click and drag through those two shapes. And now you'll have one piece here. So just click and drag through these pieces. And that's not perfect, but it's pretty good. We're just gonna leave those just for now, for the tutorial anyways. So I think I want to make this a little shorter. So what we can do is hit A on your keyboard or go over here to your direct selection tool. And then we can select the top here, click and drag and hold shift, keep these aligned. Zoom out a little bit so we can see what we're doing. That's a little better. That's not quite so ridiculous because it was a little big before, it was a little tall before. So no, we can just do that. We can just delete these, move, these, move this back over. That just didn't, I didn't select these little pieces that were here and then there was some on the edge here. So you could fix these so they're perfectly straight if you want, or you could have just used the letter U like a normal person. But now we are going to click holding alt and shift and drag this over till about here or so. And then this will be one piece and then this whole thing will be one piece. So we're going to select both of these and just to make it easier, I'm, we're just gonna do this one piece at a time, and that way 
it can get kind of cloudy if you have you know 54 objects on here so we're going to remember where the original shape was the original shape was this right here so we want this and this to be a shape and now click holding alt we can delete this and we can delete this so now you have a piece here and you have this piece so you can imagine that you know having more circles and more letters on here to finish this off to you can imagine what this would look like let's use a circle to click over here somewhere grab your selection tool drag this over somewhere about here now select both of these pieces hold shift M we want this still to be a piece and we can delete this exterior piece here. Now what we could do for the rest of this is we could actually just use the pen tool and that may be easier. So grab your pen tool. We're gonna click here on this path. We're going to click somewhere over here. Do a shape, something like that. And then we're going to click here. We're gonna go all the way up to where it intersects up there. Do something like so and then just hit escape to get off of the pen tool once you've clicked drag that up you know click click drag and then you've let go and then you let go just hit escape to get out of the off of that anchor point or you can hold alt and click back on the last anchor point that you created so now we're going to select all of these pieces and we're going to hit divide and then while it's still selected right click ungroup and now you should have a bunch of individual pieces. And that is how what we'll use to make our gradients. So now we can swap these around so that's a fill. And we can give these all the same fill because we're going to change them all anyways. But we want this to not have a stroke. We'll give we'll give this one a white stroke. Make that a little bigger. We're gonna give this one probably no stroke and this one, we'll do no stroke on that one too. And then this one and this one, we're gonna give the same color so we can have both of these selected. Make sure to click on your gradient. Go over to click on your gradient to make sure you are on your fill and not your stroke. Double click on this white dot here and then we're going to do green and then double click on the black one and we're going to do this I don't know magenta hey it even tells me what color it is I've been saying pink color this whole time it's magenta so now you can hit G on your keyboard to bring up your gradient tool click over here and we can drag this down and then I think we're going to let's give this one and this one the same color as that and then we're going to change uh, we're going to change it up but we're going to give this one this shape and this shape the same color as this one and then we're going to so I did that by hitting I on your keyboard and then selecting the gradient from the other piece now we're going to select all four of these pieces hit G on your keyboard and drag these down so they all have the same gradient and then I'll show you why I'm doing that here in a second because for this piece we are going to hit Control C Control F and that creates a copy in front same thing as before and then we're going to go over here to white and black we're going to change this color this black one to white we're going to change the opacity to like 40 and then we're going to click on this one and create change the opacity on this one to like 10 and now you see how it has this separation it has this uh, shiny effect if you will we're gonna go do something like do something like so and we will do the same thing to this one so control C control F then you can hit I on your keyboard and then you can select that gradient and we can change the gradient so it fits this side that looks good change all of these and we can grab this one hit I change it 
hit V, hit I, change it, hit V, hit I, change it. So now they all have the same gradients again, and we can edit these gradients however we want, whatever looks the best. Okay, and you know, I've decided I don't really like this color, so we're going to change this to like a dark blue. And we're going to change this gradient. We're going to do something like a orange and a red. Double click on this one. Well, let's see what yellow looks like. I like yellow. What does green look like? Nope. Green has this weird, funky, like brown to it when you start adding it into this stuff. And if we hadn't screwed this up in the beginning, we would have been good to go. But that is it for today. That concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. It means so much to me. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit the like button before you leave. Click the subscribe button. And if you want more content like this right now, make sure to click on one of these two links and it'll take you to your next video. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Stay safe. And we will see you in the next video.